Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of G News Plus. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. The international trade statistics of Kyungi Province marked monthly deficits 10 months in a row until October last year due to stagnation in export sales. However, with the effectuation of FTAs in 2012, there will be a substantial increase in the potential for international marketing and Kyungi Province plans to intensify its support for exports. In October of 2011, the exports of Kyungi Province marked $7.2 billion U.S. This was 3.1% less than the previous month. Manufacturers of memory chips and LCDs, major export items of Kyungi Province, were particularly hard hit by continuous international price declines, driving the trade balance of the province toward the red month after month. Since the world economic growth rate is expected to decrease further, active support for international marketing by both the national and provincial governments is crucial during 2012. Kyungi Province will focus its support on market development in the U.S. and the E.U., which are the giants among the overseas markets that will open with the effectuation of FTAs. The Kyungi Provincial Government will organize extensive G-Fair events since these have proven effective in creating overseas marketing opportunities for quality products. 예, 우선 경기도는 내년도에도 그 EU와 그 거대 신흥 시장인 그 인도네시아와 인도를 대상으로 그 해외 지표를 확대 추진하고 또 10월에 개최된 국내 지표도 기간을 하루 연장하고 Concurrently, export marketing support programs for small and medium-sized companies, such as the University of Texas Business Support Service and export insurance support from the provincial government, will continue. The year 2012 will be a period of challenges for Kyungi Province in its endeavors to support overseas marketing, since the economic environment in 2012 will see the coexistence of increased opportunities and threats. There are a number of new policies in Kyungi Province this year. In this week's news, we have summarized the environment and transportation policies that will be introduced in the new year. Atopy is a generic term for certain allergy types, such as rhinitis, asthma, hay fever and eczema caused by environmental allergens. The attack rate of atopy has significantly increased among Koreans recently. An atopy camp in Gapyeong County had a long waiting list as the word spread that participants had experienced satisfactory results. Kyungi Province announced that it will open six more atopy camps in the cities of Yongin, Namyangju and Paju as well as in Yangpyeong County. Since there is growing awareness of the importance of the environment, Kyungi Province will develop a number of environmental projects for the realization of a clean province. These projects include the extension of the water quality inspection range to 300 meters from the burial sites of animals stricken by foot and mouth disease, strengthening administrative control of indoor air quality in internet cafes and private educational institutes, and strict enforcement of the asbestos management law to prevent exposure to asbestos at construction sites. There are also extensive projects for the improvement of urban infrastructure so as to make Kyungi Province a better place in which to live. The addition of 130 red buses in three new towns in Gwangyo, Gimpo and Paju is one of the urban infrastructure improvement projects geared for the enhancement of public convenience. From this year, the registration of small two-wheel vehicles with an engine displacement of less than 50 cc becomes obligatory for the improvement of control over the use of small motorbikes. These new environment and transportation policies are aimed at creating a human-oriented Kyungi province. The Special Judicial Police of Kyungi province achieved remarkable results by uncovering a record number of lawbreakers. The Special Judicial Police of Kyungi province identified a total of 1,142 law violations during 2011. This remarkable achievement was the result of extensive inspections and crackdowns that were staged in the fields of food and hygiene and juvenile protection. Out of 1,142 violations, 881 cases were sent to prosecution and 249 cases were dealt with via administrative actions. The number of violations uncovered in 2011 increased 21.4% from the 941 cases identified in 2010 and was five times greater than the 252 cases of 2009. Among the disclosed violations, environmental violations were the most common at 44.8%, followed by food and hygiene violations at 23.5%, and non-compliance or misrepresentation of country of origin at 10.9%. There were also a notably large number of planned investigation cases in safety-related fields. For example, 
18 distributors of unlawfully produced red pepper powder and four producers of fake sesame oil were prosecuted. 경기도 특별사법 경찰단은 2009년 7월 13일날 발족을 해서 내년 7월이면 3년을 맞이하게 됩니다. 금년도에는 그 우리 특별 그 수사관들이 어느 정도 궤도에 올라서 1,142건의 그 불법 사항들을 그 적발을 한바 있습니다. The Special Judicial Police of Gyeonggi Province will continue to focus on the investigation and elimination of food safety and environmental violations to safeguard people's lives. Gyeonggi Province has been implementing a signboard management project as part of its road improvement policy. Streets with well-ordered and elegant signboards are becoming a symbol of Gyeonggi Province and the subject of benchmarking by other autonomous bodies. Visitors to Atelier Street in Hwasong Temporary Palace are as just as impressed by the well-ordered and artistic signboards as they are by the contents of the premises. Officials from South Chola Province visited Atelier Street to study the successful signboard management. They intently take photographs to capture ideas and designs. The signboards on the street were not simply replaced, but were instead designed to accommodate traditional patterns under a unified scheme. The results elevated the status of the street to that of one of the most favorite streets for walking among Suwon citizens. 경기도 잘 되고 계속 파주시, 수원시 계속 뜨고 있어서 이번에 계획을 잡았는데요. 아직 이제 전남은 이제 시작 단계입니다. 이제 경기도 디자인을 이렇게 보고 이제 간판 문화 넘어서 이제 우리 경관 디자인까지 볼수 있어서 참 좋았습니다. The large-scale administrative management of street signboards has been implemented in a number of regions in the province, including Suwon City and Paju City. The remarkable transformation has attracted interest from other provinces. Last year, Gyeonggi Province was designated an excellent larger local government in an outdoor advertisement policy assessment by the Ministry of Public Administration and Security. <laughs> 간판 개선 사업을 지속적으로 추진하여 경기도 전체가 간판이 아름다운 The signboard management of Gyeonggi Province will be expanded to other areas until all streets in the province are elegantly transformed. The full cost of major vaccinations for children up to 12 years of age will be supported by the provincial government. A new children's psychiatric center will also be established. These are some of the changes in the welfare policies of Gyeonggi Province that will take place in 2012. Our reporter has summarized the new welfare policy of the province. There are 2,200 children currently in the custody of child welfare facilities in Gyeonggi province. Most of these children were either deserted by unmarried mothers or are the victims of divorce, abandonment or abuse. They are taken into custody and provided with protection by authorities. However, there are no psychiatric treatment facilities for these children who have probably suffered mental trauma. From April, for the first time in Korea, Gyeonggi Province will operate a psychiatric treatment center for children after refurbishing the temporary children's refuge in Anyang City. This center will be able to accommodate up to 30 children. From 2012, all children up to 12 years of age will receive major vaccinations free of charge at 1,800 designated local medical institutions. The supported vaccination costs will amount to approximately 330,000 Korean won per child. Specially trained teachers for children from multicultural families will be posted at the children's homes attended by these children. The usage rate of children's homes by the children of multicultural families rose from 12.8% in 2008 to over 50% in 2009. The Gyeonggi Provincial Government plans to operate a training course for teachers for multicultural children to provide them with customized childcare. The extended section of the Bundong subway line between Jukchan and Gihung of Yongin City opened. Since this line is also connected to the Shinbundong line at Changja Station, residents living along the extended Bundong line can now travel to and from Gangnam area of Seoul much more conveniently. The second section of the Bundong line was completed after seven years from the opening of the first section between Ori and Jukjun. With this extended Bundong line, Gihung is now connected all the way to Sungnung Station, which is in the Gangnam area of Seoul. With the opening of this extended section of the Bundang Line, residents in the southwestern part of the province can now travel by subway to the central Gangnam area of Seoul by transferring to the Shinbundang Line at Changja Station. Let's see how long it takes to travel from Gihung to Changja Station. It took 16 minutes from Gihung to Changja. The travel time from Changja to Sungnung Station in Gangnam is 17 minutes. 
That means it takes only 40 minutes from the heart of Yongin City to Gangnam of Seoul, including transfer time. The extended section spans 5.1 kilometers and includes Bojang, Gusang, Shingal, and Gihung stations. The third section of the Bundang line between Gihung and Banjuk is scheduled for completion at the end of 2012, and the fourth section between Banjuk and Suwon will be complete at the end of 2013. 철도를 통해서 시민 여러분들의 생활이 더 빠르고 더 편리하고 더 고급스럽게 많이 발전할 수 있는 계기가 되기를 바라면서 The trains on this extended section of the Bundang line will run at 8 minute intervals during the rush hour and at 16 minute intervals during regular hours. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of G News Plus. We look forward to seeing you again next week.